Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another apartment renovation. Today I am renovating 20 Culpepper House, but you might notice it's split into two apartments and there's a like fake lobby. That's because this is a collab with the fantastic Dr. Ashley. I went ahead and I split this apartment into two different ones and created that little lobby. And we're both decorating these with the same sort of prompt, I suppose. We're both creating influencer apartments, which I thought would be really fun because uh, this collab came to be as Ashley has more time now because she just went full time with content creation, which is something I just did last year. And so we thought we would kind of take that concept and create an apartment for somebody with that sort of job. But I think we both went slightly in a different direction than what we actually do because we're on the gaming side of things. Whereas I think mine here at least is for more of like a daily vlogger. But I am so excited to see what Ashley came up with. It's going to be really cool to see how we took the same concept and went in different ways with it. Speaking of which, please go watch her video. There's going to be a link down below as well as a link to her channel. You need to subscribe. Check her out if you have not already. Super talented Sims builder, both here on YouTube and on Twitch. Lovely person as well. I've met her a couple of times in real life, and I, I just really think you're going to enjoy her content if you have not checked it out already. So please, please, please check it out. I know I'm going to be over there right after this post to take a peek at uh, what she's done. So anyway, right now I am trying to figure out the layout I want for like this common space because. I was originally thinking this was going to be a two bedroom, one bathroom house or one bathroom apartment. And I actually turned it into a one bedroom, two bathroom instead. So there ends up being a bathroom like right off the main entrance that I was thinking guests would use. But there's also one that is off of the bedroom space as well. I was kind of thinking this was a obviously like nicer, maybe luxury apartment building, but in a really expensive city, which I'm pretty sure this area of San Mishuno is very New York inspired. So New York City apartments are very expensive. Uh, so having something like this would be so much money. So having something that's a little bit smaller and squished together like this made sense to me. But having like really nice, like modern white appliances and all of that sort of stuff was what I was going for. I definitely took some inspiration from just like what I see on YouTube and like what a lot of vloggers go for. There's a couple of different styles that are pretty popular, but white countertops and counters is definitely one of them. Uh, so I opted for that here and I love the backsplash I used in the kitchen. I've been using it more lately. It is a wallpaper from the Decor to the Max kit and I just think it looks really nice as tiles in a kitchen. But anyway, I'm just getting a little dining table over here from Tiny Living. I used a couch that is a sectional from Dream Home Decorator and getting a couple of decorations. I wanted it to be like minimal and clean and make it look like this person tries to make everything in their life look aesthetic and perfect because I feel like that's a lot of what we see of like influencers houses and stuff. They're just like so pretty, at least like these kind of influencers. Um, I, I feel like you don't see a lot of like gamers houses like my house is a mess. I have a, a small apartment with a bunch of animals, but like this sort of thing that I was going for, I really wanted to show how like clean and put together it was. I also was really excited to flip this painting from base game. We got um, I think like a month or so ago now in an SDX drop. I used tool to flip it horizontally and I think it looks really cool like that. So uh. I thought that was a fun addition. And then we're getting some aprons on the wall over here. I should be getting cutting boards as well because I can't help myself. I need cutting boards. And I wanted to add a coffee machine over here because when I think of like daily vloggers, I think of like that aesthetic morning shot of them brewing their coffee on their like Nespresso. So uh, I had to add something like that in the kitchen. And then I decided to get rid of the archway over here. And so I had to move this painting. But if I moved it not with tool, it would have like snapped back to normal. So we're just messing around with that right now. And I think it looks really nice to do this because I have like all these cheats and stuff installed and mods. I was able to just quickly change the color of the front door. Uh, I didn't change anything else structural with tool. So the only thing different if you download this apartment is the front door will be brown, not beige. and. Um, I thought that that was a pretty nice like minimum change to this apartment so it wouldn't 
do much damage or wouldn't look drastically different if you decided to grab this. Speaking of which, if you would like to download this, I have the empty shell with just the hallway already up on the gallery. It's been up for a while. You can find that under my EAID, which is Griffey, G-R-Y-P-H-I. You can also find it under the hashtag Miss Griffey, and I will also be uploading the apartment with this side furnished as well. Um, if you would like to get the other apartment, you can grab that off of Ashley's gallery. Uh, so go watch her video, see what you think of the apartment, let her know I sent you, give her all of the love, and you can grab it from her gallery. Uh, anyway, we are moving on into the bedroom now. You can see I rearranged everything to make this work. And it ends up being so cozy and like neutral and calming in this space. That was definitely the vibe I was going for. So I used this four poster bed from City Living, which is so pretty. I love this bed. And we have some mismatched side tables. I end up getting, I believe, a like big plant in here, if I'm remembering correctly. But I definitely got this little tray because I was thinking like candles would be so peaceful in this space. Oh, wait, did I not? Oh, I did get a plant. Okay. So I have a little seating area over here, a couple of chairs and a little plant. I was thinking this would be a good spot for our sim to sit down and do some journaling or reading some books. And then we're back in the living room space because I didn't finish it off. I just like placed down where I wanted the couch. So we're just getting a little dresser to put a uh, television on. I also get like a bigger collection of plants over here and I'm rescaling the TV to change the size of it ever so slightly and uh, yeah I'm just decorating this area and trying to make it look as cozy and aesthetic as possible. I think it came out really cute. I am pretty happy with this apartment. I actually have quite a few apartments coming out this week so uh, be on the lookout for those um, but yeah just adding some plants to this plant stand from the Blooming Rooms kit, a little lamp, a little poof. Uh, I don't think I added a coffee table in this space because it seemed a little bit too scrunched for that, but I had a lot of fun adding all of these little plants. I love that stand from the Blooming Rooms kit. That was a really good kit. I'm excited to see what kits we're getting because I know there's a couple coming out soon. Um, anyway, that's very off topic. Over here, I am just going to be adding a mirror to the wall, I'm pretty sure. I also have one in the bedroom, the leaning one from... Uh, from the jungle adventure pack still my favorite still want some more leaning mirrors maybe some basic ones that would be really cool uh and then this is the bathroom both of the bathrooms are exactly the same so nothing too exciting there and that's pretty much it for this apartment just gonna decorate the other bathroom and add like some laundry machines to this little hallway space i thought could be a small laundry room and then we'll be heading on into screenshots i really hope you enjoyed this if you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already and click that bell to be notified of every single time I upload a new video and make sure to check out Ashley's channel and her video of what she did with the other influencers apartment. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the screenshots and I will see y'all soon. Bye everyone.